In this video, I'm gonna explain the absolute best way to apply minoxidil for the best possible results. This is important because if you're using minoxidil incorrectly, you'll basically get zero results. But the tips in this video can help you rapidly improve the overall effectiveness of the topical and give you much better results in the long term. Plus, I'll share a few simple tricks that will massively boost the efficacy of minoxidil even more by adding a few little extra touches. Okay guys, let's jump in. So before we get into the specifics, I want to stress that Rogaine, the original minoxidil formula, first hit the market in the 1980s. It was literally the first ever clinically validated treatment for hair loss. Since then, the science of hair loss has come along in leaps and bounds, and we now know of numerous other topicals that work alone or in combination with minoxidil to stimulate hair growth as well. And it's for this reason that we recommend you don't use the bog standard formula like the original Rogaine or just a generic Costco formula. So for example, in the years since minoxidil came out, we now have multiple clinical studies showing the benefits of topical caffeine. Caffeine works by stimulating hair follicles and prolonging the anagen phase of the growth cycle, which is the growth phase of the cycle. This simply translates into thicker, longer hair shafts. If you do want to grab a topical minoxidil with caffeine, then I recommend Max Oxidil. It's like Minoxidil, but with maximum power. And aside from caffeine, it also contains denazine, azelaic acid, and various other active ingredients. There is zero reason whatsoever to be using the bog standard Minoxidil formulation in 2025. So if you haven't done so already, go and check out Max Oxidil. Now, when it comes to the actual application, the specifics will depend on whether you use the foam or the liquid version. But regardless of which version you use, the fundamentals are basically the same. For starters, only apply minoxidil to the thinning areas. It makes no sense to use it on healthy hair as this will only increase the risk of side effects and make you burn through the bottle faster. The liquid will always need to be applied directly onto the scalp through the one millimeter dropper. If you're using the foam, there is also the option to squirt it on the fingers and then massage into the scalp. The key is to get as much onto the scalp as opposed to the hair as possible. After application, massage gently with your fingertips for a few seconds to increase absorption and then wash your hands thoroughly. This is important because you want to make sure you don't inadvertently start spreading it to other parts of your body. Remember that minoxidil will grow hair on more or less any part of the body, including the face. Also, only apply minoxidil to a completely dry scalp. If you've taken a shower before application, make sure to give the scalp enough time to dry off completely. So after application, allow your scalp to dry completely before using any hair styling products like gel or wax. Also, leave it a minimum of four hours before washing your hair again. Although I don't know why you would wash it again after four hours. Depending on the particular formula, the recommended application will be once or even twice daily, but do not exceed that recommended frequency. In the case of twice daily, the second time will be before you go to bed, but just make sure you leave it at least 30 minutes before you lie down. Otherwise, the minoxidil won't have had time to dry off well, and you'll end up just getting on your pillow. Regardless of whether you use it once or twice daily, the key to success is consistency. So pick a specific time and stick to it every single day. Now, if you do decide to start on Minoxidil, it's a no-brainer to throw in weekly microneedling sessions if you can handle it. This one step alone multiplies your expected regrowth by more than 3.5 times. From an average of 15 hairs per centimeter squared with the 5% formula to over 50 hairs with the combination treatment with microneedling. This makes the minoxidil plus microneedling combination arguably one of the most effective hair loss treatments currently available. So microneedling accomplishes this in two different ways. Firstly, by increasing the absorption of minoxidil through the tiny holes that it creates in the scalp. And secondly, by stimulating the tissue to release 
growth factors like vascular endothelial growth factor or VEGF for short. So VEGF promotes the creation of new blood vessels and hence improves blood flow to those balding areas. Another way to boost circulation to the scalp is by using a simple scalp brush which will also help remove any plaque or dandruff. This is crucial when using minoxidil because the actual amount absorbed into your scalp is supposedly less than 2%. So if you can increase that by brushing the scalp beforehand, that's gonna make a world of difference to how well the minoxidil actually works. Then there's the grow band, which will not only boost blood flow, but also relieve scalp tension, which is believed by many scientists to be the root cause of male pattern baldness. Add the grow band to your minoxidil stack and you'll be able to start fixing hair loss at the root cause as soon as possible. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.